Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome here to uh, my first unboxing video here on the uh, new channel here. So apologize for kind of the iffy video here. I'm I'm just using my cell phone camera right now. My other cameras are all used for other stuff here. So eventually here we'll upgrade to some better cameras. So today I'm really excited about this one. I got my Unify 150 watt PoE 16 port switch in. Um, this mad bad mamma jam I think costs around 200 bucks. Um, you might wonder why does it cost so much? Why is this, you know, it's only a 16 port switch. Um, this actually is a 150 watt switch, meaning it can provide uh, PoE and uh, PoE plus to Unify products. Um, things like uh, your Unify cloud key, uh, Unify protect cameras, um, any sort of PoE device can all be ran off of this. So uh, this is one thing I actually do not own. I haven't owned a PoE switch for a while now. Um, and um, I decided, you know what, I'll pick one up because I want to test out their Unify camera line. So uh, this guy is a great little adaption for that. So um, let's go ahead and start opening this guy up. So you can see it showed up. Uh, it's got a sleeve on it. It comes with its official Ubiquity tag there letting you know uh, what what the batch number is when it was tested you know tells you where it came from all that good stuff gives you the genuine product seal so as you can see right there uh, this one went ahead and has passed it was tested 12 12 19 comes with the genuine ubiquity seal always make sure all your products have the genuine seal there um, I have came across a few counterfeit ubiquity products here uh, recently, so just a heads up there. So let's go ahead and open the inner box here. So there's going to be a little flap. Go ahead and pop that, lift up, and then it's going to fold open. So inside this, pretty simplistic here. Of course, we've got our beautiful Unify Gray there. Uh, I like to call it the Sparkle Gray. Um, one thing I was very happy to see, these do come with your mounting ears there, so if you're like me, you rack mount everything, you don't have to buy extra parts, unlike some companies. Of course, they give you a power plug. Uh, now, this one does not use a uh, power brick, it actually uses your standard PC plug, and then um, you just run it in, and the power supply is actually internal to this. They were nice enough to give us a few screws to mount our ears. And some nice uh, rack mount with the nut on the back there to fit in your rack rails. So, let's see what else we got here. So, um, they give you a nice little booklet. I love these little quick start guides. Um, you know, I collect them. I don't know why. And lastly, what do we got in here? Looks like, oh, the little nublets for the feet on the bottom. So if you do end up setting it on a desk, uh, they provide you with some nice little nubbies there too. So that works out. Um, let's see what we get now. So go ahead. Of course, there's some protective foam on either side there. That pops off and exposes our switch. Now, this is a beautiful switch. Of course, Unify line, so you get to you can fully manage everything from your uh, cloud key or your Unify controller. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a few more videos about that later. I have a few videos that uh, I just never posted about that. So, uh, what's really neat about this, of course, we've got PoE on all ports here, so it's not a PoE pass through. So it's not like you supply PoE with an injector. This actually provides. 24 volt PoE on demand. You can go in, you can actually turn it on and off. And my favorite thing about this one, and the reason why I actually got this one specifically, is our SFP ports. So these are not SFP plus, so you're not going to be able to run 10 gig into this, but this still supports 1 gig uh, fiber SFP adapters. So I'll be running a fiber in. Uh, jumping this guy off of my uh, new XG switch that uh, we will be unboxing here in just a second. So that pretty much covers the uh, Unify line here for the 150 watt PoE switch from Ubiquity. Again, really excited to put this guy into, into play here. We're going to 
throw a couple of the Unify cameras on there and uh, test out some of that equipment. They've uh, came out with a new line of the cameras here recently, so I'll go ahead and pick those up and see how those uh, pan out. But all in all, very happy. Cannot wait to get this thing hooked up. Definitely recommend this to anybody that's got to run, you know, a large number of cameras. Now I have seen a lot of reviews online with the first generation of this switch where people are complaining that it burns out. Now, I will say that I noticed a lot of those people that were complaining about that were running non-Ubiquity certified equipment off of this PoE switch. That is one thing that I really want to make clear. This switch will not run equipment that is not Ubiquity certified without potentially causing damage to the switch. You might think, well, it's a PoE switch. It should be universal. Well, not always. Um, you have to be very careful about the type and the product, the current draw from your PoE switch. And that's my final thing. This is only a 150 watt switch. So if you hook up 16 cameras to this switch and you try and pull 200 watts, you're going to have a bad day. So remember, it's not as simple as plug and play all the time. You got to take your time, go through make sure you're watching your power consumption make sure you're watching what you need and you should be okay so i definitely give this a thumbs up i'll put some more videos here in the future once we get this thing on the rack and get her all configured again thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed